Hi everyone, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com. In this video, I'm going to show you briefly how to create custom page and product templates using our themes. This functionality is supported in any of our theme versions that support Online Store 2.0. In this case, we're looking at the Showtime theme, but the same principles will apply to any of our themes. So we're looking at the home page right now. But if I click on this customer support page, this is an example of a custom page template that we've created in the theme. We've got a banner up here with some icons with text. We've got an FAQ section and we've got a contact us form. That's just an example of a landing page you could create using the new sections everywhere. So let's jump into a dev version of our theme and show you how that's done. So I'm going to go ahead and customize our theme. And you'll see this drop down menu at the top where we can quickly navigate to pages or products. In this case, I'm going to go to a page and you'll see that there are a few page templates that are included with the theme here by default, as well as some that I've also created for other videos. So if I click on the default page, this shows me what a, just a regular page in the theme will look like. It's basically just got the content that you've added in the rich text editor in Shopify. If I, win, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and add additional sections to this template. But if I did that and saved, then every page that's using the default template would also have the same sections with the same content. So that's not necessarily what you want to do unless you want to have the same sections and content with the same images and text on every page. So a better thing to do would be to click pages and create a template. We'll just call this custom three. And we can base it on different pages depending on how we want the layout to be. So if we've already created a custom page template that has sections that we want to reuse, but instead of having all of the same images and text, we use unique content for each one, then we could base it on that. In this case, I'm going to keep it based on the default page and create a template. So now we're previewing this custom three page template that I've created. It's not assigned to any pages yet. And we're previewing the about us page. Now what we're previewing the page doesn't really matter because we have to set the template that we're going to use for each page on the page settings itself. So for now, it doesn't really matter what page we're using. In this case, we've got a few options for your heading and regular page content over here, depending on your theme settings. We can go ahead and add sections to this page now and populate them just like we would anything else and then save. So we've created our custom page template and now we just need to assign a page to it. So to do that, we can exit out of the customizer, go to online store pages and choose any page. So we've got this custom page that I've used for another purpose. You see there's this online store drop down where you choose a theme template. I'm going to choose custom three for this page and save. Now if I view this page, you can see that it's got the heading, the title of the page. There's no content on the page because I didn't add any in this editor. But it's got the custom sections that I added to the page. So once that's assigned, I can go back into the customizer. And if I navigate to pages and choose custom three, you will now see that it is assigned to one page and it takes me to that page to preview it. So I can continue to do that and create multiple page templates using the same methodology. Now, if you did want to have the same content in sections like this for every page, utilizing the same images and text, then you could just assign this custom template you've created to multiple pages and it would show up that way. The same is true for products. So on a product page, you can do something similar. You'll notice that we have a couple of custom templates in here already. If I go to a default product, if I choose this one, you see that there is already this image with text heading section here. We also have recommended products and a gallery. So by default, all product pages will have this. If I wanted to have a different unique custom product page, I could just go down here, go to products and choose create template. We'll call this custom product. 
two. Create a template. And again, you have all of this information over here where you can edit your sections, drag and drop them around just like you would on the home page. So in the same way you save this, and then you would go back to your product pages, select a product, and you can assign that custom page template you've created in the same way that I showed you for the pages. So there's custom product two. So now whatever sections you've added to custom product two will show on this product page in addition to all of its regular product information. That's about it. In another video, I'll show you how to create advanced product templates using meta fields so you can reuse sections but have different content without creating a new page or product template for each one. So check our support knowledge base for that. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.